Hi. In this session of periodic classification of elements, we are going to understand the concept of Dobereniner's triads. Now in earlier times many elements have been discovered. With more and more elements being discovered, the scientists went on gathering lots of information about their physical and the chemical properties. Now, because there was lots of information, there arose a need to classify the newly discovered elements into groups. A German chemist named Johann Wolfgang Dobereiner came up with this idea to classify the elements which have similar properties into clusters of 3. Now these clusters of 3 were known as triads. Now since this was Dobereiner's idea to classify these elements into triads, this type of classification is known as Dobereiner's triads. Now that we know what are Dobereiner's triads, let us go ahead and study the Dobereiner's law of triads. The law states that when elements were arranged in order of their increasing atomic mass, the atomic mass of the middle element was approximately the arithmetic mean of the other two elements of the triad. Let us take a look at the three Dobereiner's triads. In this table given below, the first triad is lithium, sodium and potassium. The second triad is calcium, thronsium, barium and the third triad is chlorine, bromine and iodine. Let us first concentrate on the first triad that is lithium, sodium and potassium. Here the atomic mass of lithium is 7, the atomic mass of sodium is 23 and that of potassium is 39. By applying Dobereiner's law of triads we get the mean of the atomic mass of the first and the third elements to be that is the atomic mass of lithium and potassium to be 7 plus 39 upon 2 that becomes 23. Now as you all can see the atomic mass of the middle element that is sodium is also 23. Thus we can say the Dobereiner's law of triads is applicable to the first triad. Similarly, let us apply this law to the second triad that is calcium, tronchium and barium. Here the atomic mass of calcium is 40, tronchium is 88 and barium is 137. Again by applying Dobereiner's law of triads we get the mean of the atomic masses of the first and the third element that is calcium and barium to be 40 plus 137 upon 2 so that becomes 88.5 which again is approximately equal to the atomic mass of the middle element thronship. Similarly, the Dobereiner's law of triads is also applicable to the last triad that is chlorine, bromine and iodine. Again by applying Dobereiner's law of triads we get the mean of the atomic mass of the first and the third element that is chlorine and iodine to be 35.5 plus 127 upon 2 which equals to 81.5 which again is approximately equal to the atomic mass of the middle element bromine. Dobereiner's triads was not very successful as it had few limitations. The first and the major limitation was that many elements having similar properties could not fit into the triad. Let us take for example nickel, manganese, copper, magnesium, iron. They all have similar properties but they could not be placed in the triad. The second disadvantage was that elements having dissimilar properties were placed in the triad. The third and the major disadvantage was that Dobereiner was only successful in classifying three triads. Now since Dobereiner's triads could not be applied to the then known elements, this method of classification was not very successful. I am sure you all understood the concept of Dobereiner's triads. To watch more such videos, please log on to our website www.dobereiner.com. Let's do it.com.
थैंक यू